Hello there and welcome to this iMovie tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to add titles to your project uh, and I'll be doing that using iMovie for the iPad but it works equally as well on your iPhone. So let's begin by opening up iMovie by clicking on the icon. Next let's open up the project that we wish to add the titles to so my movie one and then click edit. So here we are in the timeline and we can scroll through it and as you can see I've got three clips. Let's just zoom in a bit so we can see what we're doing. And let's add a title to this first clip here of Trafalgar Square. And the first thing we need to do is touch it to highlight it. Then in the bottom menu let's click titles. Well, before I do that, um, there, there are sounds associated with each of these titles. Uh, but because we've got some Atmos uh, sound running underneath it, and I'll just show you that there with the um, sound wave icon, uh, you won't be able to hear those sound effects. So let me just uh, reduce the volume on this clip so you can hear the sound effects uh, without any Atmos sound getting in the way. So let's go back to our titles. And the best thing to do is just to go through them and, and show you what each of them does. So, so let's click on the uh, clip again. Let's highlight this first uh, title and let's change it. Let's just give it some really, and to change it, we just click on the actual title text here box. Uh, click on this cross to delete everything in the box and let's give it a very, very simple title. Click done. So okay, let's just watch and see what happens because each title has a different animation associated with it. Uh, if you look down at the bottom right hand corner here, you can see we have the sound effect on. So that, that will give you a, a, a complete picture of what each uh, title effect does. So here we go, let's go back to this beginning of this clip, let's play that. Okay, pretty basic, let's click on and try the next sound effect. Let's go back. And this one's slightly different because it has three levels of text. You can see the London there, and then the large uh, title text here, and then the smaller title text here at the bottom. Let's try prism. And gravity. And reveal. and line title and expand and focus And finally, pop up. Let's just go back to the beginning to get the full effect. Okay, so as you could hear, there was some sound associated with each title. Uh, and you can toggle that on and off with this sound effects on button here. So if we turn that off, let's go back and just show you that it's not there. There we go. Now, as you could see, each title had a, a font associated with it as well. Now, you, you can't change that. You can't change the font, uh, and you can't change the animation or the position of the, the, the actual title itself. Well, that's not entirely true. You can select a lower position here by clicking down here, uh, and you'll get... The, the same animation, but instead of it being in the center of the screen, you'll get it in, well, in this case, in the bottom left-hand corner. 
for gravity. Um, it's in the bottom left hand corner. Uh, line and title, that's in the bottom right hand corner. Um, expand, kind of bottom, just off center right there. Focus, bottom left, and pop up, bottom left again. So let's just go back to our center setting and let's just have line and title up. So what happens when you place a, a title on a clip, it remains for the entire length of that clip. So as you can see in this particular instance, this is quite a long clip and the, the title is there for quite a while. Now if we don't want that for the entire length of the clip, we can change that. Uh, and all we have to do is go back to where the clip starts run it and let's imagine we want the title to finish here so what we do then we select the clip go to actions and split now what we've done we've created a sub clip from our main clip uh, now when you play that in the timeline that join will be absolutely seamless and the only way that you would know that you've moved from one clip to the other clip uh, is because the title will end uh, where we've made the divide in the clip. So you can see that there. And actually the underlying video, like I said, that there's no uh, difference at all. It runs smoothly and you wouldn't know there was a cut there. It also um, helps because we have this cut transition. Um, if we were to have a dissolve, you would see a change and that would look rather odd. And just to show you, I'll stick one in there uh, and let's run that again. Well, there, there was some audio stuff there, but um, essentially when you use this technique, you really want to use a straight cut, which is none on this transition. And again, there are some sound effects associated with them. So you just need to make sure that that sound effect is off. So there we go. That's how you add titles to your project in iMovie. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. But in the meantime, thank you very much for watching. Please like and share and check out some of my other films.